but they shall be priests of God and of Christ. Priests of God and of Christ. There are two types of priesthood. One is the generalized priesthood sense, and there is the specified priesthood. Please, the epistle of St. Jude, just before the book of Revelation. It is one chapter. Read the epistle of St. Jude, one chapter, verse 11, and see what happened to Korah, how God punished him for him coming and daring to making himself equal to Aaron, the priest chosen by God. Yet God never chose Korah. Korah said, if Aaron is a priest, I'm a priest like they do now. And what did God do to Korah? Opened the ground, swallowed him, and those Israelites that went with him all died, perished. Let's come to the generalized priesthood. They have two sacrifices. We find it in the epistle of St. Paul to the Hebrews. Hebrews 13, verses 14 to 16. Today, we'll be having a lot of readings. So bear with me. So Hebrews chapter 13, verses 14 to 16. For here we have no country, no continuity city. Sorry. For, we, for here we have no continuing city, but we seek the one to come. Therefore, by him let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise. One, to God that is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. But do not forget to do good. And number two, to share for with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. For here we have no continuing city, meaning this is not home. This world is not our country. This, this world is not our city. It is not continuing because everybody's got a grave awaiting them. We came empty handed from the mother, from the womb of our mother. We will go back to also empty handed. There is no continuing city for us in this world. Stop chasing the world. Stop chasing the treasures and the pleasures of the world and the fame of the world. I want to be known. I want to be seen. I want to have the greatest rank and position in the world. I want to be famous. I want to be rich. I want to conquer. I want to rule. I want to be a dictator. Where is Hitler? Where is Lenin and Stalin? Where are the empires of the world? Gone. Gone with the wind. You come with nothing, you leave with nothing. We have no continuing city, but we seek the one to come. Therefore, by him, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. But do not forget to do good and to share. But with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. Have we forgotten about praising God and sharing with others? What happened to the charitable deeds? Sharing and caring. What happened? The two sacrifices, the generalized sense priesthood is praising and giving, sharing. You give, stop taking, you need to give. Be a sharing person. Be a considerate person. Be a person that is thoughtful of others. When you come to eat at the table, do you remember those souls that live starving to death? They go to sleep starving. They wake up starving. Do you think of them? When you are under that roof, in that comfortable bed, do you think of those who are homeless in the streets living at the gutter? That is giving. When you come to the church and praise the Lord Jesus, sing to him, worship him, this is a sacrifice offered in the generalized sense and also in the specified sense. When you do a charitable deed, almsgiving, helping the needy, reaching out to those who are afflicted, who are rejected, who are forgotten. You are a priest in that sense. The Lord chose 12 people out of the entire Israelite nation. Those 12, he made them priests in the specified sense. What do I mean by this? Every one of us is a doctor in the general sense. What is the job of a doctor? 
healing people, isn't it? I hope so. But anyway, that's a different topic. But the role of the doctor is to heal people. When it comes to healing, every single human being needs to be a doctor. Why? Because I need to be a healer. At home, when I see somebody feeling down, I go to them, what's wrong darling? Are you okay? I sit, I talk, I be a listening ear to them. All of a sudden, I've changed them from being sad into a very happy, smiley face. What did I do to that person? I just healed the person. I am a doctor, but in the general sense, that doesn't give me the right nor the permission to enter the operating theater and chop people's heads and chests. I'm not a surgeon in the specific sense. I'm a doctor in the general sense, but in the specific, you need to be qualified. In the general sense, we praise the Lord. That is a sacrifice. You came to church this evening. You've sacrificed your time for the Lord. You're a priest. And when you help a needy, when you help a needy person, you've sacrificed your money. That is a priesthood role. Now, sacrifice comes from one source only, love. L-O-V-E, all capital letters. You see, without love, it is impossible to sacrifice. Impossible. And we find on the earthly level, human level, we find this love illustrated so powerfully in the parenthood rank. Parents. They sacrifice their life for their children without even thinking for a split moment, what if the children never respect this kind of a love we are giving them why because the love is genuine the love is from the heart when the love is genuine all it does it gives never takes all it does it gives never takes when the love is genuine so with that love there is no sacrifice when you praise the Lord, you're sacrificing your time for him. Why are you doing that? Because you love the Lord. If you didn't love him, you wouldn't have come to his holy church. If you don't love someone, why would you go to see them? Why would you want to spend time with someone you don't love? So what drives you to seeing them? What drives you to giving up your time, your comfort zone is love. When this guy falls in love with this good looking girl, Poor thing, he's lost. He's never comfortable. He can't sleep, can't eat well. He looks terrible. Beforehand, he was a superstar. Now, miserable. Because he's gone out of his way. He's gone out of his normal routine. He's gone out of his normal lifestyle for the sake of that love towards that person. 